Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucy. If you've never seen me before and you're joining me on my channel for the first time today. So today I've decided I'm going to do an updated blending tips and tricks tutorial video for you guys. I did one of these last summer at some point and you guys seem to really really enjoy that video and a lot of you said you found it very helpful as well. So yeah that's pretty much what I'm going to do for you guys today. I, bet I wanna know if you're single so without rambling too much I am going to jump straight into my favourite brushes if you're not interested in seeing what brushes I use to blend then just skip on into the video to the part where I actually do the eyeshadow so a lot of my favourite brushes actually come in sets as opposed to being singular or individual eyeshadow brushes which I think is really really helpful because when you're shopping for brushes you don't want to go looking through loads and loads of individual brushes and it's so much easier to just check out one set of brushes and be done with it so my first brush set I have got here is the crayon case brushes. I'm not sure if you guys would have seen my video where I used the eyeshadow palette, which was a few months back as well. But yeah, this is literally just the same brand as that. So I actually really kind of got gifted these at the P. Louise event. These were in the goodie bag. Do excuse as well how dirty all of my brushes are. I haven't cleaned them in longer than I should have left it but um yeah a lot of them are very dirty so do just mind that so these are the brushes here you can see they're all very similar in size and I really really like small brushes anyone who's watched my videos before knows that I'm not really a lover of a big fat blending brush such as one like this I much prefer the smaller ones just because I think that you can get such an easier blend with a smaller sort of tip and you can get more of a defined you know shadow of colors I don't really know what I'm saying at this point <laughs> but yeah these brushes by the crayon case are really great so I will link them in the description below if I can find them for you guys but in order I have the blending brush small shadow blender medium blending brush shadow blender and flat shader brush which i wouldn't actually call a shader brush because it's not really that flat it's more of a blending brush in my opinions but yeah those are the ones by the crayon case. Next up are my favorite brushes by Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. If you've watched any of my videos, you would have seen these mentioned a billion times at this point because I'd use these brushes so religiously. They are really dirty actually i probably need to get a new set soon so i'm not exactly sure of the names of these sets because as you can see i think there's two different sets in the, these ones i'm holding up here but all of them again are really small in size and really really good brushes for getting in the little crevices and just making sure you've got a smooth sort of transition showing through the colors so i'll go through them one by one so this one here is the controller blender this one here is the shader brush, and then we've got the tapered crease brush, another shader brush, pencil brush, and the tapered crease brush. So the pencil brush is actually one of my favorite ones because it is so rounded and so small, and it's really good at it's really good at packing on the first shade through the crease because it's such a good size and it blends it out as it's packing it on, if that makes sense. So yeah, these are some of my favorite makeup addiction brushes. Next up are the brushes by Unicorn Cosmetics. Now I have only obviously got three in my hand here, but there are more that come in this set, but these are just the three that I picked out from it. I can't remember again what the set is called. I think it's like back to school or like old school set. I don't know, but if I find it, I will link it in the description. But yeah, these ones are really great as well. Well. so same thing they are quite small um, but this one's a bit bigger this one's more for like blending out the shadows on the outer edge this one here in the middle is obviously really tiny and really good at blending out shadows actually any shadow I guess you could do it as the middle shadow or the top ones I don't even know what I'm saying anymore yeah these ones don't have individual names on them so they do just come in a set again like I just said I'll link it in the description below if I can find it but I really like using these brushes as well. My next two are by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now I do actually have more Anastasia Beverly Hills brushes that I really like using, but these are just the two main ones that I use the most often. So when I pick this one up, I mean, I've literally got about six of this brush because you guys know if you own an Anastasia palette that these ones come in all of their eyeshadow palettes anyway. I use these brushes actually a lot, to be honest with you. I really like using this side as the, obviously pack in the shadow on side. And this one is really good for blending out. So I 
I actually use these ones a lot and anyone who's an OG on my YouTube channel knows that this bad boy is one of my all-time favorite brushes this is the Anastasia A14 brush it's just really really tiny and so cute and it's really good at packing on the first shadow in the crease but yeah this has been one of my favorite brushes for a long time and always will be at this point because I use this one so often now here are some of my favorite Morphe brushes I'm not obviously going to talk through all of them one by one but these are just some of my favorite kind of smaller blending brushes I will um give you the names of them one by one so this one here is the m519 brush then we've got the e18 brush the jh35 brush m507 and m506 as well which are like the brothers e17 jh34 jh38 m503 m411 and jh33 obviously the white ones that i just showed you these ones here are from the morphe jaclyn hill um, brush vault collection I really recommend these brushes. I did also do a testing video using the whole collection and out of all of them I did say I recommended the eye brushes the most. So they are a bit on the pricey side but I do really like the brushes that come in that collection. But yeah, these are some of my Morphe favourites. I do also just want to remind you guys I do have a highlight on my Instagram page which has all of my favourite blending brushes listed in it. So if you are ever unsure or whatever you can just head over to my highlight and have a little... <laughs> have a little flick through there because a lot of these ones do feature in there I do have to update that soon actually because I don't think I've got the unicorn cosmetics or the crayon case ones in there but most of my favorite brand blending brushes are listed in there so now we have got the brushes listed out of the way i am going to get started on the eyeshadow so to start off any good eyeshadow look you need to have a really great base underneath anyone who's watched my videos before or pretty much ever seen any of my looks knows that i always use the p louise base to prime my eyelids so this one here is in the original rumor 2 shade and i'm just going to start by getting that onto my lids Now for the sake of today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Beauty Bay EYN Brights palette. If you haven't seen my previous video using this palette to create a rainbow eyeshadow look, then do go and check that out as well. But I just voted over on my Instagram whether you guys wanted to see a blending tutorial using neutral eyeshadows or colorful eyeshadows, and currently, colorful is winning. So I am gonna go ahead and do a colorful eyeshadow look, but to be honest with you, all of the techniques I'm gonna use with these eyeshadows can be carried across through any any color anyway so it's more so the techniques than the colors I'm going to use today I'm going to go ahead and use all of the purple shades along the bottom here and maybe a few pinks as well because I haven't done a purple look in quite a while but like I just said you can do this with any color of the palette or any palette you're going to use so first things first when I'm going to get a really nice blend using color I always start with the darkest color first this is something you've probably seen me do in my videos before if you've ever watched me before but I always start with the darkest color first and then blend the shadows above it just so you can see a gradient between the colors so I am going to go ahead and start with this shade in the corner which is drama queen which is obviously the darkest purple shade we have here and I'm picking that up to begin with on the makeup addiction shader brush when using a shader brush like this rather than swiping the color into the crease I am just going to tap it in and make the shape I want so today also I am going to go ahead and do a rounded eye look because a lot of people have been asking me recently how to create a circular sort of shape rather than like winging it out if that makes sense so I am going to go ahead and touch on that as well so I always start by taking it from the inner corner and tapping it there and literally just following the sort of a natural circular shape of my eyes and just basically packing that in until it's you know full of pigment and in the shape that we need it So to create that circular outer corner shape, I'm not actually bringing it right the way to the corner of my eye. I'm actually packing it in just a little bit before that so that I've got that room on the outer corner of that purple to go ahead and blend it out. Now, once you've got that shape in place, you can just continue to use the same brush, tapping off the excess product and just lightly with a really light hand going over the edges to create a little bit of a fade before we come to put the next color on. 
Something you'll probably see me doing throughout the video is that I always hold out my little finger. I have touched on this before in my videos, but I always do this because I feel like it really helps to give less pressure on the brush so you can create a really smooth blend. So I always hold it with one little finger out, or if I am holding it in, then I'm always holding it at the bottom of the brush, which is something I find really important when you're blending, especially with darker shadows. All of it basically just helps to apply less pressure so you can get a smoother blend throughout. So that's me done with that purple shade. As you can see, I haven't taken it very high at all. I've still got quite a lot of space between my brow and between the purple shade to get some more colors in there. So I'm gonna leave that as that and I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. For my next color, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the shade Modern Way, which is obviously a few shades lighter than the one we used before. And with that, I'm gonna pick it up using a JH38 small brush. So as you can see, I am using a really, really tiny brush to blend. A lot of people find that quite alien because they naturally pick up a bigger kind of blending brush but I think that you get such an easy and precise blend when you use smaller brushes so you'll notice that all of the ones I use are going to be quite small in size and what I'm doing is just basically I'm going to go ahead and go on top of that purple shade we've placed down but also kind of merging it into the edges of it as well just to make sure the colors are going to blend together again holding the end of the brush with my pinky out it's just a habit really at this point and I'm going in with small circular motions Motions, always starting in the middle of my eye and working its way in and out. So come into the outer corners again, just keeping the shape really tight to the shade we put down before and doing tiny little circular motions, just making sure it's following around the eye. Once you're done placing that shadow down, again, just tap off any excess product you have on the brush and start just diffusing very lightly over the edges of that line so it's gonna come a smooth blend with the next color. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the shade Living for Lavender, which is in the corner here, which is the lighter purple of the palette. And I'm picking that up on my Morphe JH40 brush, which is pretty much a dupe for the M507. Again, tapping off the product, picking it back up and then going ahead and going on top of that purple. So at this point, because we're going on with the top shade, my brush is not gonna be front on like this because I don't want the point of the brush to be getting a really harsh line. So what I like to do instead is angle the brush towards my face and upright and then rest my finger on my cheek and blend above there. When you angle the brush upwards, it helps to blend it with the shadow underneath because obviously it's catching the line of the shadow before and it's just gonna buff it out naturally when you do the motions. So now I'm mixing it up between some circular motions and then some back and forth as well. And finally, with this blend, a new trick I've been doing recently is getting a white eyeshadow. So for example, I'm gonna take the shade White Lies, picking it up on a brush, tapping it off, and then going over the outer edges of that blend. I just think that doing this, it just really diffuses the outer edge. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to tell on camera, but trust me, try it, and you will honestly know what I'm talking about. It just really softens it, more so than it does if you're just going over it with a clean brush. I find that sometimes if you're blending with a brush that has no product on it it kind of moves around the base underneath I don't know if anyone else has that I just prefer to do it with a white eyeshadow on top Now at this point where we've been blending loads of different colors on top of the one we put down first, it's kind of got lost in that blend. So at this point I then go back through all of the colors I picked up and just basically re-intensify them to make sure that they're still popping and showing through. Okay, so I'm, all I'm doing next is I'm gonna just add a shimmery pigment to the lid. Today, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Sample Beauty Twilight Pigment. I know you won't be able to see it very well, but it's a purple with kind of like goldy reflex. I don't really know if it's gonna go exactly, but I hope so, so that's what I'm using on my lid. First of all, I am just taking the NYX Glitter Primer on one of the Crayon Case Shadow Blender brushes and just packing that over the lid area and using a P. Louise brush to pack it on. Then taking that dark purple shade again and just blending out the edges. And that 
is pretty much it for the blending. Obviously today I haven't done anything fancy like cutting the crease or anything like that. However, if you do want to see how I cut the crease and how I do my winged eyeliner as well, I will include the link of my previous blending tips and tricks kind of video below because that one covered blending, cut creases and winged liner. So if you want to watch that, then go and head over there. I'm going to go ahead off camera and finish off my face, pop some lashes on and I will be back with you in a minute. So I'm back now. I've just finished off the rest of my face, pop some lashes on and some gloss and I am finished. So you guys, this is the end of my updated blending tutorial. I really hope you guys did enjoy and you learned something from it. Please do let me know in the comments if it's helped you at all. Don't forget also to follow me over on my Instagram, which is at LSG Makeup, and to subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more of my videos in the future because it will mean the world to me. If you do also have any other video suggestions or things you'd like me to film, then please do let me know in the comments below. But for now, I'm gonna finish this video here. So thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.